to my channel how you lovely people doing today i'm back out with another video and this video is a teeny weeny bit controversial just like a teeny giggle. weeny bit <laughs> i'm going to be talking about the black community the fba the nfba and how it affects our community but before we start don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share the video if you like these types of videos all right let's just dive in let's dive in <laughs> Is the FBA movement divided the black community and those that are part of the African diaspora? What is the FBA? The FBA stands for Foundational Black Americans and NFBA stands for Non-Foundational Black Americans. I'm a black British and I'm part of the black community so that's why I'm talking about it um, because it affects the community as a whole and if I was to move to America now, I would be affected by it and I would feel the separation more. I haven't been in the black spaces in a while. I kind of took a step back. It, it was getting a bit too toxic for my liking, if I'm being honest with you. So I just decided, why am I talking like that? So I just decided to slide back in and all sorts have happened. It's like, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> I care because if you remove one part of the black community, one part of it, it makes the whole foundation become unstable and unbalanced. I understand wanting to hold, I understand wanting to hold on to your culture, but that shouldn't remove you from the black community and the whole African diaspora as a whole. It's all about unity. We have colorism, we've got featureism, we've got so many isms, and then you throw this in, the FBA, I think it's further, I think it's further dividing the community. Just an observation based on the things I've seen people comment on, it's a bit like, bit hateful. You shouldn't have to other yourself to create distance between you and your African lineage. When you do a DNA test, it's not going to say Black Americans or African Americans. It will say various places in West Africa. When Black Americans want to be in Wakanda, you know, they want to be doing that Wakanda, they want to be up in there. That's when they feel proud of uh, their African lineage. But when things are sour, it's like, I don't know you, mm, no, you're not one of me. <laughs> it's like, they only want to acknowledge their African roots when it's something good. When I'm talking about up in Wakanda, I don't mean literally, I'm just talking about the fact that they get roles in the Black Panther film. Black Panther is African. We don't say anything. We don't say anything when they get roles that is African. You can be in Wakanda all you want, but don't simultaneously cuss, diss, and mock Africans. Like, it doesn't make sense. There's been instances where black British people black have people. gotten certain roles that is American, and they received backlash online. Whoa. It's like, where did that come from? There seems to be a lot of commentary when it comes to that. But we don't have an issue, like, when it's in reverse. It just, it just seems like you're only there for a good time when things are going good, but then other times it's, I, you have a I don't know you attitude and behavior. You can't sit with us sort of behavior. When, when a black person gets a role in a prominent film, I'm all happy. I don't care where you're from in the globe. A win is a win to me, to be honest with you. That, that's just my observations and opinion on that. I'm about unity across the whole African diaspora. When other races see us, they paint us all with the same brush. They don't separate us, so that's why I don't get the movement. In some way or shape or form, we've all experienced the same thing and we understand. So I just didn't get really get the point of the movement. Each to their own is what I say. With the FBA, the NFBA, the featureism, the texturism, the colorisms, there's so many isms, like soon there'll be no, there will literally be no community to divide with the way it's just been divided. There'll be nothing left to divide in the black community. It's like a pie being cut into different pieces and each piece represents the segregation of black people. Colorism, texturism, featureism, FBA, wherever else, now, if those pieces of the pie gets pulled out and put into their separate compartments, there's no community left. You'll be left with no pie. I want to bring all the pieces back together and make the pie whole again. This talk about pie is kind of making me hungry. <laughs> there is this, you can't sit with us because you're not an FBA type of behavior when it comes to the FBA. Like, where did that come from? Hmm? You can't sit with us, you're not an FBA. Go and sit over there. It's like, really? Really though? Why do you do that? So if I was born in America, I'd be considered an FBA, but then my parents wouldn't be because they're from somewhere else. So they'll be an NFBA. 
So then if something happens to my parents, my peers, my fellow FBAs, wouldn't support them because they're not an FBA? Is that how it works? I'm just giving an example, by the way. What happened to the DOA, the descendants of Africa? Is that still in motion? Because I don't know what is going on. <laughs> I do know what's going on, but I'm just like flabbergasted by what is going on. The DOA was supposed to unite all of us, regardless of where we're from. This whole division Let stuff with different up. compartments is just very reminiscent of what the Europeans did, like in Africa, when they were dividing the tribes, dividing the countries, divide and conquer, right? Isn't a battle of the races, and it's certainly not a back and forth thing. I'm just shedding light on what is going on, okay? The community is aiming, pointing the aim at each other when you should be pointing at the people that put us in this situation to begin with. The aim should be on the people that are still perpetuating racism. I want to see unity in the black community as a whole. United we stand, divided we fall. That's all for today, guys. Do you think, do you think the FBA is causing division in the community as with colorism, featurism, texturism, and all the isms? Is this just a part of another ism? Are, are you looking for unity in the black community? What's your thoughts? I think we should look at things that's going to unite us together, not things that's going to divide us even more. Let's have an open dialogue about this. Let me know what you think. This concludes the video for today, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video if you like this kind of content. And remember, you're beautiful, you're handsome, you're worth it. And don't let anyone tell you any different. Cozena, over and out. Mwah. <laughs>